Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in uh, Baku, uh, 2022. And this is a match in the women's under 57 category. In white, we have Krista Deguchi from Canada. And in blue, we have Kitty Kovacs from Hungary. Our competitors are just uh, bowing onto the mat right now. And uh, let's join them. Baku in Azerbaijan, right? right. Oh, okay, Krista already going for them. Oh, she just landed, I think. I thought that might have been something, but I think she just landed on her rear. Does that count anymore? I don't think so. That's a bit of a kind of a... Uh, a casual entrance there by Kitty. I don't know what's going on. Are they reviewing the throw to see if it was a score? I wasn't sure the way that she landed if it would be a score or not. It could have been. I let's see. Wazari. Okay. So she did land in a way to score the Wazari, which is good. Good start. So now let's take a look. What does... Krista with a strong uh, grip on the sleeve. And... Okay. You wonder if, if, if she was going to go in for an Udigarami or something like that uh, from the ground. But she didn't shoot under to, to get the roll. So... Uh, maybe she didn't feel uh, the position was quite right. Kitty now going strong over the top and around. She's got some ground to make up, so she's got to be more aggressive for sure. It's only three minutes is, is still a good amount of time, but certainly you can't let that uh, stay like that forever. So, yeah, and Krista's got a lot of weight on that right sleeve. As she was going in for that Ouchi. Kitty's a bit a bit taller than uh, Krista, so the Ouchi has to, I think, be deeper if that was really going to go anywhere. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, so back to the grip. And... Oh, the Tomonage? No. I think Kitty did a good job there uh, spinning away from the throw from the Tomonage. Uh, oh, and she's going to get penalized now. Yeah, I think uh, Chris has tried a couple of atta attacks. So once you get like two unanswered, then it, it starts to look pretty bad, right? In terms of uh, getting penalized. Oh, some success. I think uh, Krista tried doing that a little bit earlier in the match as well. Coming across. Uh, this was a lot more uh, lower and more reaping, but not successful. She got the Wasari off that the first time around, right? So, But it makes sense to go back to the well. Let's see what Kitty does. Okay, just... Drop it in, Sumagesh, just to try to get out of... Is she going to try to sweep? Oh, Krista's on her. And I don't know. Okay. Will she try for the hold down? No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it looked like Krista was trying for the hold down, but Kitty did a good job of rolling into Krista at the right time to, uh, to get out. That's sort of something I think a lot of... Uh, less experienced people don't really realize is rolling in a lot of times is the answer <laughs> even though it's like counterintuitive okay
And there it is. Okay, that's going to be Wazari for sure. Yeah. Krista. Third time's a charm. That might have been the Epon in and of itself. Uh, although, I wouldn't call it an Epon. But let's have a look. Let's, let's take a look at the, the winning throw. You see... This here, you can. I think Krista can feel. Look at that. Totally broken here. Posture. You know, action, reaction, pull, and then drive. Right, pull and then drive forward. Yeah. There we have it. For the epon, uh, the wasari into the epon. The second wasari into the epon. And Chris said to Gucci, your winner. So uh, those are my thoughts. If you have your own, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, hit like. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. And until next match, have a great night.